Hi everyone, hope you're all okay. Today I am reviewing a couple of books by the same illustrator. The illustrator's name is Car Pintos and she's an Argentinian illustrator graphic designer and she's got these two colouring books out and they're absolutely beautiful. This one came out I believe in 2020 and this one came out just this year. In fact it's not even available in UK on Amazon until the end of April so you can get it on Amazon US right now but this is a brand new release. So let's start off by looking at the both books as a whole. You can see that both of them have gorgeous gold foiling to the cover. It's a really nice thick card cover as well with a French flap inside that still includes that gorgeous gold foiling and they're just really really well made. I'll talk about the paper as we go through but let's start off with having a look through Happy Place which was the first release. So there's the cover and then on the back you can see a few sample pages from inside and let's read the synopsis. So it says, leave stress behind as you colour your way through 98 intricate colouring patterns from internationally acclaimed artist Carpintos. Each pattern is lush with detail and inspired by the beauty of nature. As a bonus, you'll also find interactive journal pages to heighten the colouring experience and meditative maze patterns to complete and colour. So apparently we've got quotes, we have got um, mazes and we've got a lot of journaling pages as well. So it's quite an interactive book, this one. But don't be put off by that. It is definitely a colouring book first and foremost. So you'll see as we go through just the amount of designs and things that we've got. So let's start here. This is the first page. Lovely um, floral template with really big petals and leaves. So no, none of that intricate detail. You can be practising all of your blends. Then we have a copyright uh, info page. And you might notice that this book is made by the publisher Better Day Books, who are also doing the new Emily Lydhall Oberg book, which is Sagor Och Sagna, released as Fairy Tales and Folklore. And I may or may not have seen uh, <laughs> the um, draft of that. And oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. I can't wait. But I don't know exactly whether they're going to be using the same paper as this, but with them being the same publisher, I'm thinking maybe. And this is really nice paper, so it's definitely a good omen if they are going to be using this paper um, because it is really nice. It's super thick. It's crisp white. It has a nice tooth to it, but it's not too toothy. So it's definitely not smooth because I can feel the grain, but it's a very fine grain. So I think it's ideal. And you'll see as I've coloured through it as well, um, you know, the, the colour pencil blends and things that I was able to achieve on it so you've got the proof there that it, it can be blended with the pencil um, anyway let's get back to this book so this is a lovely little sunflower and a lot and the images they're all quite they've they've almost got like um you know when you used to do stencils they've almost got that kind of look to them there, there's not a lot of intricate intricate detail so I find that really calming that we don't have to get into all these tiny spaces now we've got a contents page. So part one is the colouring workbook. Part two is the colouring patterns. So as we go through, you'll see what they are. Relax, unwind and focus on the positive with this collection of colouring patterns inspired by nature. And then we've got a little um, front of the book introduction here from Carr herself. So she's talking about when she was a child living in Argentina, taking art and drawing lessons. And um, yeah, just a little bit about her and where she gets all her ideas from really. So she's wanting you to um, use the journal entry things in this book to heighten the experience of colouring in that meditative practice that we all do um, when we're colouring and just heighten that by adding in some thoughts, feelings, things like that. Obviously you don't have to if you don't want to, but it's there if you do. So we've got a little enjoy page and you'll notice throughout the book, a lot of quotes and words are hidden sort of within the natural flora and fauna. So we're on to part one, the colouring workbook. So I'll try and make sure that we've got both of the pages on screen. So I'll just flip through it as I go. And yes, it is. It's beautiful paper. I'm not sure entirely what weight paper it is or grain or anything like that, but it does feel lovely to colour on. So we've got laugh, we've got some feathers, magic, peace, and these look really nice. I've, I've done one later on in the book. They look lovely when they're coloured, especially because it, the words kind of sink into the background and 
you know, merge with all the elements around it. So these are all words and these would be fantastic for um, removing and framing, actually, if you wanted to send a little sentiment to somebody or just display it in your colouring room. Uh, I really like the sentiments that are included. So here we go with the journal entry. So this one is freedom. Let go of all the imaginary constraints you have put on your life. Use the list below to release the past and focus on the present. So you would list what you are free from, whether that's um, a job that you hated or a relationship that was maybe not so great, <laughs> um, or it just could be something silly and simple. And then what you are free to do. So uh, we've got be grateful. And then we've got some gratitude boxes here, things that have helped you, things that have made you smile. And then authenticity, words others use to describe me, words I use to describe myself. And it goes on. So things that you've done to uh, be brave. And then we've got some more colouring images here. I really like this one. It's got little lemons on vines around the words. So another journal here, love yourself. Use the spaces below to focus on things that you love about yourself, mind, body and spirit. And then you've got the love yourself illustration here. So what I really like about them is all of these open spaces. There's nothing too detailed and it's really, I think that's very, very calming. I know that sometimes detail can be calming, um, especially if you're doing mandalas and things. But also I think wide spaces, you haven't got to get your specs on and, and look, <laughs> look at all the tiny little areas and... I guess it's just easier to blend as well. So I'm just going to flick through this and you can slow it down or pause it if you want to. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Henry Matisse, or is it Henri? I think it's Henri Matisse. Here comes the sun. It's very cute. Every moment matters. So different moments throughout your day or throughout your life that have made you happy and here's the one that I've coloured so this one is no rain no flowers have you ever heard the saying grow through what you go through use the space below to journal about an experience that was challenging at first but ended up being positive in the long run I really should have filled this out shouldn't I so we could talk about it on camera uh, a challenge that unexpectedly turned out positive I'll have to think about that one but anyway this is the one that I coloured uh, everything was pencil apart from over the lines of this kind of swirl here and the lines of the words, I'd use a Posca pen and then all these little flicking rain lines are Posca pen, but everything else is coloured pencil. The dots are Posca as well on here, but all of the blending, the main body of this uh, colouring piece is pencil and you can see the blends are just really, really nice. I really enjoyed doing it and to be, <laughs> to be fair, I first got this book a couple of years ago and it's been sat and just forgotten about unfortunately. Um, because of, you know, all the books I have to review and things like that. This was just one that got left behind for some reason. And I think I coloured uh, the rain words first and then it got left for like two, three years. And then I went back and coloured the flowers bit in and the rest of it. So I've had to remember sort of what galaxy colours I use for the writing. But I think it turned out really nicely. So there we are. And then, as I say, I'll just keep going through this and you can stop or speed it up we've got a couple of little birds so this is about making a mantra for your life so an affirmation meditation maze focus on the word love or oh, focus on what the word love means to you as you help the birds find their way to one another so i guess we have to start we have to start here and then just follow the maze around until we get to the other bird just a little bit of fun, I suppose. You could do that with a Posca pen so that it kind of elevates which line you're going on. And we've got a rabbit and his carrots. We have got a bee and a flower. So he's got to find his way to the nectar of the flower. In fact, there are two bees. This one is butterfly and flower. And this one, wow, okay, so we've got the rabbit is back. Try to hold your focus as you help the rabbit go through the garden to find the carrot. Can you keep your mind clear for the entire exercise? So yeah, it is quite a struggle to keep your mind clear sometimes. Um, it's, if I tend to not be able to fall asleep, I try and completely blank my mind. So I'm not thinking anything. I'm just focusing on a white space. And um, sometimes it helps. Sometimes it's 
easier said than done. So we've got colouring patterns now. I don't think there's any more journal entry type things left. These are all just colouring ones. And I really like this end of the book because it is just all about the characters, the animals and the florals. Really cute fox and bunny. We've got a turtle and let me zoom out my eyes a little bit to see what this is. Looks like some kind of butterfly or moth. We have a horse, which is floral, and we have a stork, I think. We've got a dolphin and an elephant. So funny about dolphins. My husband today was ordering his medication and he can't pronounce it. It's called amlodipine and he couldn't pronounce it. And he said, I'm a dolphin. <laughs> and we just wonder what the, uh, the pharmacist would have made of that. I couldn't help but laugh. Anyway, um, this looks like a flamingo with the pointed beak. And we've got some sort of beetle or bug couple of swans and then we've got a deer in the forest this is a peacock and a parrot an owl and just a branch with some some different leaves and flowers on this looks like a toucan which I've colored in the other book I'll show you that in a moment and then we've got leaves so actually I should hurry up because I've got another book to show you haven't I we've got a tiger or a cheetah probably a cheetah and we've got the word wild. We've got some frogs on lily pads. Really, really cute. Love, you, you can't beat a frog. They're so cute. Um, we've got some fish adorned with lots of florals and patterns. We've got a crab and a whale. More birds. So many pages in this book. You can imagine the hours of colouring time that you've got if you enjoy colouring this kind of thing. So it's a fantastic book. Dragonfly, flowers. Oh, what's this one? I think, are these flowers or are they creatures? I think they're flowers. Very kind of mind-bending that one. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, oh, I know what these flowers are and I've forgotten. Yeah, I can't remember. We've got some butterflies hanging around. Lots of big petals to practice on. Fantastic blending book. Um, butterflies. Oh, is that a beetle? That's like a kind of a beetle with wings. We've got some really fun butterfly-esque creations on here. Oh, there goes my medicine uh, alarm. <laughs> um, we've got ladybirds, more leaves, different kinds of leaves, different shapes and sizes, some twisty florals. And some more kind of like poppy-ish type flowers. And what are these? Peony, maybe? I don't know. Rubbish of flowers. Oh, we've got some cactus. That's a bit different. Lots of different shapes. Again, lots of big spaces for blending. Got some more birds. And some fruit. This is fab. So it looks like oranges, I guess. And with orange slices. That's really cool. I can imagine that being really beautiful with juicy, you know, tropical colours. And then we've got a little room for a personalised quote that you might want to write in the book. And then we've got the end page of a little kitty cat. And there are the maze solutions, but you don't have to look at those. Um, and then that's just from the publisher. And there you go, you've got the back. And it's just a beautiful, well-made book. Really, you know, they've kept the colourist in mind and it makes you feel calm just looking at it. So I think it's done its job. Let's go to the next book. So we've got Beautiful World. Now, what does this one say on the back? Uh, 95 intricate colouring patterns. Um, again, detail, inspiration from the beauty of nature. And then we've got some more interactive journal pages and meditative. Why can't I say meditative? meditative maze patterns to complete and colour. So let's see what we've got inside. I'll try and be a bit quicker, this one. So this is the newest release. Like I say, it's not out here in the UK yet on Amazon. You can get it in the US. I'll leave all the links below anyway, so you can pre-order it if you want to uh, in the UK. So we've got our contents page. It's very similar, very flowy on from the first book. And again, just a bit of a forward from car. And then we're straight into the colouring workbook. So this is about your wishes, dreams and goals. 
and then positivity and of course we've got sunflowers possibly the most positive flower and then we've got things about challenges that you've overcome um, what makes you unique and what are your favorite things about yourself so there's quite a lot of self-love involved in this and then building your self-esteem a little bit it's definitely something i could do with doing we've got some birds and then we've got some phrases again so keep going i'll tell you which one i would like to have as a phrase in this is resilience i'd love to have that as a tattoo or something that resembles resilience because i feel like i need that um trust the process enjoy the journey live in the moment believe in yourself a couple of hands here as well follow your heart really like this leafy wreath you are not your thoughts <laughs> should have colored that one defo accept this moment as it is be aware. Look at these big mushrooms. Chase your dreams. So this is for putting steps that you can take to achieve your dreams. And we've got a couple of double pages here of colouring. Got some tigers hidden in, in this. I think there's four tigers that I can see. And then we've got some more mazes. So we've got the beetle or whatever that is um, trying to get to the flowers and we've got the birds trying to get to the flowers as well and we've got some underwater themes here so we've got jellyfish and seashell and butterfly and flower and this one it's kind of spacey we've got stars and what look like planets gratitude this is a bird and Oh, what is this called? I was looking at this fruit the other day as well. I can't remember. It's not. Um, yeah, I think I had to colour it for the for the page that I did. And I can't remember what it's called. It'll come up again. So this is a fox and flowers. And for friendship, we've got a flamingo and a fish. We've got bravery. And then we're into colouring patterns. So this one is a bit of a um, symmetrical, probably four-way symmetrical pattern. We've got a big old beetle. That would be nice to colour with some iridescence. And we've got the moon and some planets. Some more flowers and dolphins. Love how his eye is surrounded by this flower. We've got a cute panda. I really thought about colouring that one as well. For the review you know i like to color a page before i do a review some more fruits i think these might be figs i could be wrong never had a fig and these could be passion flowers lots of berries to color as well we have got a shark very interesting and a couple of tigers i believe lots and lots of patterns you can imagine this looking amazing when it's done it's one of those books you look at and you might not be able to to fully appreciate it through a camera lens but when you've got it in your hands you just know like how long these illustrations must have taken and how much thought's gone into them plenty of flowers got a big fish is this like a grouper type of fish maybe we've got a lucky cat again this was one that i thought about coloring in those beautiful kind of um asian red and gold tones then we've got this it's a little bit spiritual a little bit mystic and some flowers lots of raindrops because flowers of course need rain and it's a metaphor for life isn't it so we've got what could be a swallow and then cacti and this this could be a passion flower as well i'm not sure it's kind of, it takes a minute for your eyes to adjust with all of these lines sometimes. We've got some fish and we've got a fox and a sunshine. And what kind of bird is this? Not a clue. <laughs> it's got long spindly legs and it's got a little bit of a quiff. And I've got another mandala-ish pattern. And we've got a giraffe. 
so cute. And this really reminds me of Johanna Basford's Secret Garden. Uh, there's a couple of pages that are like this with, again, the big petals that you can blend in. We've got some seahorses, twins, or, you know, um, didn't they say seahorses mate for life? I can't remember if I read that somewhere. Uh, we've got a woodpecker, peck, peck, peck. And we've got a couple of parrots, I think. Lovebirds. Could colour that for Valentine's. We've got a lovely sleepy koala. And some more birds and this kind of trailing plant. A couple of manta rays. Thought about colouring those as well. And then some mothy type creatures. I think you can see that my page is coming up because I've been pressing that hard that the ink has come through but you can always grab an eraser for that and it'll just come straight off so don't worry if you do that um, what have we got here so we've got a lion cute little lion and yes there is my page so this is the one that I coloured I used let me think Prismacolor and Luminance I reckon that was it and maybe a few Derwent Lightfast because I keep them all in the same pencil case so I just take pick and choose and yeah again the paper just look at the the blend on that it's so seamless um it really did well with the uh, the pencils that I was using and yeah really really enjoyed coloring it I really wanted to do something bright bold and exotic in this horrible cold wintry February month and um I did really try and make these fruits as realistic as I possibly could with my skill set so again I'm not entirely sure what this fruit is I think I looked it up and I can't remember if I did it just as a fig or a pomegranate or something or just use figgy colours uh, and then I wanted to make these round circles into tomatoes so I just used a few different greens did a few details on them to show skin ripples and then a bit of red coming through as they ripen so yeah really really enjoyed it I think it's a beautiful page and yeah, just shows you kind of what you can achieve because, it, you know, it's hard sometimes looking at books that haven't been coloured and illustrations and it's hard to picture the potential for the image, especially with these these kind of images. Um, so, yeah, it was my pleasure to colour that and show you what can be done. So we've got some bugs. We have got a cute llama with some cactus, cacti. And we've got a bird and an octopus like i say if i'm going too fast just slow it down or pause it um we've got a snake very heavily patterned snake and lots more flowers with big petals and we've got a cute little whale to finish it off very lost ocean-esque uh, and then we've got the end page and of course we've got the maze solutions and some of my pencil scratchings there just testing colors and there we go so sorry that that was a really long one but i just wanted to show you these two gorgeous books in their entireties and i hope you've enjoyed watching it uh, like i said i'll leave the links in the description so you can go ahead and buy pre-order whatever's available let me know what you think love to hear from you i know it's been a while since i've done a video um reasons <laughs> but yeah uh really hope you're all okay and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.